What a crazy season of Big Brother so far. And after that triple eviction, come on, there's only one thing left to do. Or three things left to do. We gotta get all three evicted house guests on this Zoom call with us. David, Kevin, Danny, let's rock. Kevin, we're gonna start with you. You hit the block what seems like a million times this season. But listen, you get to do what a lot of people haven't. People have dreamed of playing this game and you got to live that dream twice. How was All Stars different from your first season? And if you had survived the night, what would your strategy have been moving forward towards the finale and the win? Oh my God, um, this has been such an honor to play on All Stars. Well, how did I get on All Stars? Clearly a clerical error occurred. But I think, um, you know, it's been an honor, even though I've been on the block so many times. I actually thought, like, actually, it's kind of cool because I got to play in every single veto competition. I felt like, oh, I was constantly having a chance to um, save myself. Um, and um, totally different than my first experience, but um, I love the variety of experience. And if I had saved myself, um, I probably would have taken a shot at who's running this house. And, and it ranges from Cody to Tyler to Memphis. I, I, I kind of fluctuate between somebody in that area. You and David had some really deep conversations this season that thankfully aired because they had to. And with every block speech, you made sure not to be afraid to make it count and use your platform to send a message. What do you hope fans of the show in general, your fans and fans of Big Brother the show, take away from Kevin's time on Big Brother All-Stars this season? I think I hope my fans take away from my time on being on Big Brother All-Stars is I made every moment matter, especially during the live speeches or the uh, speech moments. I knew that I could control those moments and I wanted to make sure I touched on issues that really matter to me and affect me personally. And when I had a great conversation with David that um, I think is being, had been aired, um, it really was my own perspective on my own experience. And I wanted to make sure that um, if there's anybody else who could could relate and understand, um, I wanted to make sure that uh, I expressed my own unique perspective. And that's what's great about this, um, is that you're able to kind of show, share your own perspective and um, the diversity that this house represents. Um, everybody has a unique perspective and I'm glad I was able to share that. Okay, David, you're in the hot seat, let's do it. Uh, you and Kevin kept those block seats pretty warm for the better part of the season. So, but why do you think uh, certain house guests wanted you out of the game and what words do you have for them at this particular moment in time? Um, I, I feel like me, Kevin included, but me, we were um, considered easy targets, not threats. Um, we were some of the few that didn't, couldn't win comps to, to save our lives or had limited moments where we would win. Um, I just feel like we weren't part of the big alliance and ultimately we were low on a totem pole and never got the opportunity to to change that, to win an HOH and to just, you know, flip the house. It's what we were trying to do. It's what I was trying to do. That's what, you know, my biggest goal, even if I would have left as a result, I just wanted to flip the house. Gosh, I wanted to flip the house so bad. And to the house guests that wanted to try to get me out over and over and over again, it's weak, it's just weak game. Um, you know, why don't you go after someone who can win comps who could, would be a bigger target um, to go after people who can't win comps and to go into the final six with comp beast. It just seems like a non-smart move. I would take myself and just be like, okay, I'm gonna beat him when it's final six or something like that, but I lost. David Memphis, it's clear he had targeted you from the start. Why do you think you rubbed him the wrong way? What was it about you that Memphis was like, we got to get David out of here? Um, I think that he uh, might have felt like I wasn't an all-star. Um, you know, I think the, the logic in his mind would have been something like, well, he was banished day one. He couldn't win the two comps to get himself back in the house. So my thought process on him is that he just didn't respect my all-star status. And he saw me as someone that needed to go because I shouldn't be in the same BB house with him. And there's one moment from this season that has to do with you that's gonna go down in history. 
We could all see you were clearly upset and it crushed you when your fellow house guests, and even ones you consider to be in a, you know, an alliance or a semi-alliance with, they thought you flipped on the Ian vote when you adamantly stated you did not, you didn't flip, you didn't vote Ian out, and you tried to plead your case again and again. They just didn't believe you, man. So heading into the jury house, what is your first conversation with Davon gonna sound like? Um, Davon, I've been trying to work with you since early on in the game. Um, you didn't trust me. You felt like I wasn't loyal. You felt like I was in the mix with everyone else, but I really wasn't. I was just looking for someone that I could really trust and work with to a degree. And voting um, Ian out was my defining moment to be like, okay, this felt like it felt I went against my own personal judgment for the team. And I felt like that sacrifice was me saying, hey, I am with you guys. But when it didn't work out, I was just like, damn, it was frustrating. And I just saw the chess being played from other players. And I was just admiring it. I was just like, damn, I can't even have a moment to, to do something that's just already getting played against me. Well, hopefully you get some answers. Okay, Danny, your turn. One of the best players to ever step foot in the house. A true legend in the game. Hats off to you, for real. I'm just curious to know if you think your fellow house guests felt they had little to no chance in actually beating you at the end. And maybe that was why, you know, it led to Tyler pulling the trigger and nominating you, which then eventually led to your uh, eviction and, and heading into the jury house. Do you think that's the reason why we're talking right now? Oh, I could cry right now. I'm so flattered. I'm so flattered. Um, I went into this house this time and I said, I want to play the best game I've ever played. But more importantly, I want to be one of the best players to ever play this game. Um, I wanted it so bad and I wanted to make sure I wasn't playing too hard. Um, I think I kind of underestimated myself, to be honest. There would be times where I didn't think people saw me as a big threat or I thought I wasn't playing a great game. And then I thought I was, and then I thought I wasn't. And go back and forth because you don't know, you don't get to see. Um, <sighs> I don't know. All I can say is literally like that's so flattering. That means so much to me. Like I can't even tell you because that's all I wanted. Um, I wanted to win so bad. I, I can't tell you. I, I truly believe I wanted to win more than anybody in that house. I put everything out there. I put my whole heart into it. And um, yeah, I really believe that everyone knew that I could beat them in the end. Why? Because I knew I could beat everyone in the end. If you'd won final HOH in that crazy triple eviction, which we're still getting over, by the way, which two house guests would you have put up? And out of those two, who do you hope would have gone home? And if you had a backdoor plan, who would you have wanted to backdoor? This is easy. I wanted to win to put up Tyler and Christmas. I wanted Christmas gone. I truly believe Christmas was the thread that held Memphis and Tyler together. Remove her. Uh, Cody would pull in Tyler. I could pull in Memphis and we'd have them all. Um, Christmas needed to go and I made sure to tell Nicole before I left, you need to get Christmas out of this house. And Danny, we can't let you go without talking about your favorite holiday, Christmas. <laughs> so I had to, sorry. Uh, listen, let's talk Christmas. The player, the person, the all-star, the one who didn't get a hug on your way out the door. I truly do regret not giving her a hug. Um, I was caught up, it was a whirlwind. I truly thought I was gonna stay. I didn't think I was gonna go. And I was a poor sport. They got me, Tyler and Christmas got me, good for them. Um, if I could, I'd give her a hug because I really am a good sport. Um, I think Christmas is playing an excellent competition game. If it was all about competitions, Christmas is doing wonderfully. However, the entire season, she never knew what was going on in the house, ever, 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 ever. So do I think she's playing a good, well-rounded game? I don't. Um, what do I think about her as a person? I don't know her as a person outside of Big Brother, so I can't really judge it. How did I feel hanging out with her? It was like a roller coaster. Hated her in the beginning, then liked her, then couldn't stand her, then some days I'd like her. Um, I really don't know what I feel about her, but it's nice to be away from her. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Kevin, David, Danny, thank you so much for hanging out, guys. That triple eviction was uh, mind-blowing. I uh, can't wait to see how this season progresses, who's going to make it to Final Three, how the alliances are going to crumble, what new ones may build, and who is going to be the winner of that half million dollars and 
America's favorite player, too. That's on the line, too. So can't wait to see what happens with all of that. Thank you, guys.